so the disclosure, the lead-based paint disclosure in the Georgia Association of Realtors contract package now has some verbiage about the buyer's agent sending the notice to the seller. What? Hi, everybody. Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors and director of the Real Estate Academy of America. And just want to briefly go over the uh, revision that the Georgia Association of Realtors has made in their contract package to the lead-based paint exhibit regarding the buyer's agent notifying the seller of their responsibility to notify the buyer if there is, if the house was built prior to 1978. What is that all about? How do I do that without crossing the sign? That's what we're going to get into today. So let me share my screen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And let me try to uh, clarify what might come across as a bit confusing. So again, this is the Georgia Real Georgia Association of Realtors contract package. And this was the revision that GAR made in, oh, let me share my screen. Hang on. Realize I'm sitting here talking to everybody and y'all aren't seeing my screen. So let me share my screen. There we go. This is the disc, uh, lead-based paint disclosure. It is GAR form F316, Disclosure of Information on Lead-Based Paint and or Lead-Based Paint Hazards in Purchase and Sale Transactions. So what does that mean? Well, before we even go further, we know that, and it says it right here in case you forget, any house built prior to 1978, you are required uh, to have this lead-based paint disclosure as part of your contracts. And sellers are required to disclose this information to a buyer so that a buyer may proceed accordingly, uh, choose to have a risk assessment done, so forth and so on. Lead-based paint hazard, what does that mean? Well, if there is something in the home that potentially was painted prior to 1978, even if the home was built after 1978, then you are also required by the EPA to include this lead-based paint disclosure in your contract. For example, an antique mantelpiece or reclaimed barn wood uh, or shiplap or something like that. If there is at all any possibility that anything in the home uh, was painted prior to 1978, you need to include this disclosure. Now, in July, in the July revision that GAR made to the contract package, they added a, an additional statement in this form, the F316. This is the lead-based paint exhibit for purchase and sale contracts, as well as GAR F918. You landlords and you leasing agents you need to include this on properties for lease as well as for sale. Again, if the property was built prior to 1978 or there is anything in the home that could have been potentially painted prior to 1978. So you have to do it on lease transactions and purchase and sale transactions. So it is the same verbiage. Let me show you what the addition is. Nothing has changed in general with this disclosure. Here is the new form. Uh, here is the new edition. And this does affect you, the real estate agent. Seller's agent, that has always, it, it is the section on agent's acknowledgement. Agent who informed the seller of the seller's obligation should initial. This first statement has been here the whole time. Seller's agent has informed the seller of the seller's obligations under 42 U.S.C. 4852D and is aware of his or her responsibility to ensure compliance. Here's the new paragraph that GAR added in July of 2024. Buyer's agent 
has informed seller of the seller's obligations under 42 U.S.C. 4852D and is aware of his or her responsibility to ensure compliance. That can be confusing, and GAR has clarified that, that the buyer's agent only needs to uh, inform the seller and initial only required if the buyer's agent receives compensation directly from the seller. So this ties in to the various ways that the buyer's agent or buyer's broker actually is getting compensated. If throughout the negotiations between the buyer and the seller, if the seller is compensating the buyer's broker, buyer's agent directly, that typically would have been uh, negotiated as a special stipulation, or, or this is still part of the contract. So as a negotiation in the contract, I'm sorry, as a special stipulation or so forth and so on. So not a co-op, the buyer's agent is not, the buyer's broker is not getting compensated as a, in a co-op arrangement from the seller's broker, but directly from the seller. If that is the situation, the, and the house or something in the house was painted or, or prior to 1978, buyer's agents, y'all need to also initial this lead-based paint disclosure and only initial it when you can demonstrate that you have informed the seller of their obligations. So what do you do? How do you do that? The seller is not your client. The buyer is your client. So here is what you do. First of all, you have to uh, inform the seller that they have to inform the buyer. And part of that uh, disclosure that you need to make to the buyer is including this form, this lead-based paint disclosure form, as well as the lead-based paint pamphlet from the EPA. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can either go to epa.gov to get all that information or the Georgia Association of Realtors has made this very convenient for you. And this lead-based paint pamphlet from the EPA is included in the GAR contract package. It is CB04, Consumer Brochure 04. Protect your family from lead in your home. It is the pamphlet from the Environmental Protection Agency. And it is a 20-page pamphlet regarding lead-based paint. Again, listing agents, y'all need to uh, uh, make sure that your seller is doing this anyway. This new part is just a buyer's agent duty to inform the seller to inform the buyer if the buyer's agent is getting paid compensated directly from the seller so again back to the question at hand okay buyer's agents the seller is not your client yet the lead-based paint disclosure for purchase and sale agreements and it's the uh, same verbiage for a lease it has it here too tenant's agent has informed landlord of landlord's obligations under this rule uh, and is aware of his responsibility to ensure compliance. So again, how do you do that? Well, you uh, buyers, agents, and tenants agents, you're not going to communicate directly with the seller. How do you comply? Just like you communicate throughout the entire transaction, you are going to communicate through the listing agent but how do you do this notification? Well, how do you do any notification? You are going to use a notice form and that is GAR form F816 notice. And a notice is unilateral. So only you, buyer's agents, tenant's agents need to sign this informing the seller of their obligation. So here is the notice. And this is the uh, code section, 42 U.S. Code, Disclosure of Information Concerning Lead Upon Transfer of Residential Property. Lead Warning Statement. It shall contain the following text printed in large type on a separate sheet of paper attached to the contract. Every purchaser in any of any interest in residential real property 
on which a residential dwelling was built prior to 1978 is notified that such property may present exposure to lead from lead-based paint that may place young children at risk of developing lead poisoning. Lead poisoning in young children may produce permanent neurological damage, including learning disabilities, reduced intelligence quotient, behavioral problems, and impaired memory. Lead poisoning also poses a particular risk to pregnant women. The seller of any interest in residential real property is required to provide the buyer with any information on lead-based paint hazards from risk assessments or inspections in the seller's possession and notify the buyer of any known lead-based paint hazards. A risk assessment or inspection for possible lead-based paint hazards is recommended prior to purchase. Then I suggest you put in there, buyer is directed to read the entire code section, disclosure of information concerning lead upon transfer of residential property in its entirety. This would be, per this uh, new revision in the GAR contracts, signature of the party giving notice. This would be now the buyer's agent giving this notice to the seller that they have to give notice to the buyer. So the signature on this would be the buyer's agent with the date. You are going to send this along with the, I guess the lead-based paint exhibit, I mean, uh, consumer brochure, and you are going to send this as a notice from you, the buyer's agent, to the seller through the seller's agent. So you're gonna uh, sign this, you're gonna send it, to the seller's agent so that you can comply, buyer's agents, with this new paragraph G, agent's acknowledgement, if you, the buyer's agent, are receiving compensation directly from the seller. As a note, you listing agents, you too have to inform the seller of their obligations. So I suggest you also would use the a notice form with this verbiage, and this verbiage is just copied from this code section. There was more to it. Um, and that's why I suggest buyers directed uh, uh, and seller to read all of this. Additionally, this verbiage and these disclosures are contained in this disclosure form, GAR form F316, for leases, it's GAR form F918. And agents, you may also get this information directly from the Environmental Protection Agency at www.epa.gov. So I hope that clears up, clear as mud, right? Uh, but clears up just a little bit how you as a uh, buyer's agent inform the seller of their obligations uh, to the buyer, uh, again, if and only if you are being compensated directly from the seller. Listing agents, you are incumbent, uh, it, it, you are responsible for doing that regardless. If the house was built prior to 1978 and or if anything in the house possibly was painted prior to 1978. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dana Sparks, Broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors, satisfying your needs with service, innovation, and education. Bye. If you like that video, check out the one here. If you like the content on this entire channel, please click here to subscribe. I try to take even the most complicated of real estate situations and make them crystal clear. See what I did there? Real estate made crystal clear. Thank you guys so much for watching.